On this episode of Three Black Guys with the Mic, sponsored by Wendy's, four for four, political strategist, and now talk show host, L. Joy Williams from SundayCivics.org, along with June Moses, is joining us to talk about politics and hip hop. All that and more on this episode of Three Black Guys with the Mic. First of all, let me tell you something. Lamont is just full of Sometimes my mama said, you know, you don't have nothing nice to say, you should be quiet. People say that Stephen A. is a coon. You agree with that? Everybody got quiet on that one, okay? Uh, uh, Go ahead. Voodoo <laughs> Giuliani practices voodoo. What? So he put a voodoo hex on my girl, Hillary, and that's why she got woozy. Yo. And, and the Secret Service had to prop her up and put her in the van. But take us to a break, my dude. It was voodoo, son. I don't know about that voodoo. voodoo. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Three Black Guys with a Mic. What do we do? In the new year, we always try to change our eating habits. We want to be better. We want to eat healthier. And we want to make sure that we're putting the right things in our body. So we want to make sure that we're eating fresh food for 2018. No more frozen food. That's why we're sending you to Wendy's. Guess what? Wendy's has even gotten bigger on the 4 for 4. Now you got eight choices instead of four choices. Yes, a junior bacon cheeseburger, a junior cheeseburger, a junior cheeseburger deluxe, a double stack, crispy chicken sandwich, a crispy chicken BLT, a grilled chicken wrap or a spicy chicken wrap. You can get all that with a four-piece nugget, a small drink, and a fry. All at Wendy's. So head over to Wendy's, get yourself something fresh for lunch or dinner, or if you're just in the mood for a snack. So head over to Wendy's right now and get yourself a Wendy's four for four with eight choices. Offer not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. Now, back to the show. Uh, well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Three Black Guys with the Mic. We are here live in New York in the engine room. Uh, we are honored to have our friend to, back to the podcast, Miss L. Joy Williams. I was going to give you the beautiful, talented, most, no. you know, educated. <laughs> Formidable. Brooklyn. Uh, you, are you born in Brooklyn? I was not born in Brooklyn. I was born in Manhattan, Kansas. Get out of oh, here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm from Junction City, Kansas. Yeah, I was born in Manhattan, Kansas, but I moved to New York when I was three. So it's not really oh. like I'm not from Kansas. Yeah. Now I feel I got it. Now we got a connection. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm 20 minutes yeah. down the road. June is here as well. Hello, June. Hello, the Civic Accomplice. June like the month. Moses like the Bible. Is that right? June yeah. Moses. How I'm are you? I'm well, sir. I'm yeah. glad that you're joining us on the podcast. Maynard is here. Lamont is here. Uh, we are just chilling today. Let's just start out with, you know, Sunday Civics. Congratulations on the show on Sirius XM. Thank you. Uh, so tell me, you know, t- tell me about the show, how you like doing the show, how you like being on the radio. You know, what has that done to, you know, your political strategy and, you know, everything that you do for your clients? Well, I, I love being on, I love doing the show. Um, I love the, doing the show, number one, because it, it it allows me to think a little bit as a teacher right right and so i've spent a large part of my career um doing trainings or uh helping other organizations or even candidates um and at some point i've always had to do go in teacher mode for a few minutes or for a couple of days mm-hmm. and basically explaining to if it's an organization explaining to them okay how this government entity works um, uh, whether it's doing an organizing training and maybe explaining to a community how um, they can push certain buttons to get what they want. And so now I get to fully operate in that role. Um, I've always joked that my retirement plan would be to be a teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, so to be able to do that now and with every episode, think about what am I trying to teach the listeners? Right. Um, and then what homework or my husband is a teacher, so he calls it his do now for his students so like what am i giving the listeners as a do now or in what we call it your uh take civic action all right so let me let me go into that and i know made is going to chime in but you know let me get my serious stuff out the way okay all right and so i uh, that's the conversation i wanted to have with you in regards to taking civil action civic action 
and actually what's the game plan for 2018, right? I hear you on Karen, you know, Hunter. I love what Karen Hunter is doing in regards to, the, you know, 10 for 2018, right. you know, and those things. What, in your opinion, is the action plan as we get ready for or gear up for midterm elections? It depends on where you are. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things we say on the show all the time is uh, civic engagement doesn't begin and end on election day. Right. So, you know, before we get to a primary for the midterm elections or before we get in there, there are lots of things that need to happen or that should be happening in between there. Right. We view politics as only elections, as only that uh, that option that we have once we get inside the booth. Mm-hmm. And what we try to do with Sunday Civics is demonstrate that civics happens all around us um, and that um, while this system was designed for certain amount of people to prosper, it was also designed for us to be participatory. Right. And that the more you participate in it, the more you get out of it. Right. And so, bef- so the goal for 2018, there isn't one goal. For some people, their one goal is getting, you know, ch- flipping Congress um, or maybe going to 2020 and making sure Trump is out of office. Mm -hmm. But what does that do for your local taxes? What does that do for your property taxes? What does that do in terms of who the district attorney is in um, your uh, community, the school board, and making sure that there's equitable resources for your kids? So there are all sorts of different roles. There are all sorts of different goals. Um, What you have to determine is which is more important. Mm -hmm. Right now, um, particularly today, right, everybody's talking about oh the president is racist okay one we already knew that right (laughs) two i am you know and i I just had this rant to someone the other day who you know she's believe believes and she's depressed about well trump being president has like destroyed her life and her livelihood um and you know i say and i said to her i said i'm pretty sure that our ancestors uh knew who andrew jackson was right I'm pretty sure that they knew every single president that did not have their um, best interests at heart, and yet they still mobilized and organized on the state level, on the local level, to advance equity um, across the board, knowing mm-hmm. that there was a racist in the White House. What do you tell people to do? Because I saw on your Twitter, and I'm sure I'm not getting in. I'm just, I know I'm not dominating the conversation. Just get in where you fit. I'm, I told you I'm going to get my serious stuff out the way first. Let me just like get my serious like stuff out the way. But what do you say? Because I'm I'm very interested in this because I was reading on your t- Twitter feed, and most of it is ignoring what the president is doing and focusing on what we should be doing, right? And I think that we're distracted, right? There's a lot of distraction with what's going on with, as Lamont would say, Trumpito forty five, whatever it is we want to call him. So, in your opinion, what you tell your listeners and what you tell your clients and what you tell you know people the people are you know taking civics. What are you what are you telling them to do for 2018? Well, yeah. or moving forward period. So I I don't believe I I'm trying to be mindful to not fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Mm-hmm. That's what I call it. Where you get you know your spin in the media spin of what's happening day to day with the president. What he's tweeted, what he said, what meeting he had, wh- when he came out of the meeting, who he's with. Like that 24 our cycle right and then missing the ball of everything else that's happening Mm -hmm. missing the ball that the um civil rights commission just came out and talked about our education system and it's in the inequality that exists within that right right missing the ball in terms of healthcare. missing like we miss all of those things if you can if everyone is following that ball of the president. Now, the reason why um, I am, and I'm glad you paid attention to it, that I am focused is that everybody else is tweet. There are other people tweeting about the president. There mm-hmm. are other people following that. That's not my role. Right. My role is to demonstrate to you that there are other things going on. Not to say that what he's saying, how he's disgracing the office and things like that isn't important. My goal is that there are other people talking about that. Let me be one of the voices talking about the other things that are going on and giving you specifics on how you can make change. And then you pick what is most important to you or where you feel that you can make a change. So I'm not going to tell you Got it. what specifically you should do. I don't live your life. I right. don't know what your taxes are. I don't know what kids you got in school. Like, I don't, I don't know what those things are. Right. But what I'm doing is sort of put, tilting the mirror the other way. 
right? And saying, while this is going on, don't miss the ball on all of these other things. And then pick and decide which one you can make a difference and make a change in. Got it. Let me ask this question, because I've been giving this a lot of thought. Because it, it, it started off as just a, an idea, but now I think there's an, a real opportunity. So we know that Hillary Clinton got three more votes than Donald Trump, right? We know it's 75, 80,000 votes in a couple of small cities that led to Donald Trump actually winning. And I was thinking, like, why are we not concerning ourselves with the concept of electioneering? In Brooklyn or in New York or in Chicago, in Philadelphia, we, we over-index for voting for Democrats. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. At some point, those 2 million votes, at some point, 1.8 million already won the game. Now, we're in a scenario, and your husband's Puerto Rican, is that right? He's back in Puerto Rican, yeah. Right. And you all just got married in Puerto Rico. The island's been decimated. There are, people are fleeing to Orlando. They're fleeing to other parts of Miami. They're, they're going to places where they have family. They're going right. to places where it's nearby, yes. And that's great. And they are American citizens. And we have to make, hey, we, we try to make certain that we stress to our, our fans or our listeners that, yo, these, these are our people. But my question is, if you're in Brooklyn, if you're, in, if you're, if you're living in certain cities, and I have family that's, that's like this, where the unemployment is high and you're unemployed, where the schools aren't working to the best of, uh, they're not living up to the standards that you want, why are we not trying to figure out ways to do what El Salvadorans do, what Guatemalans do, move to places where the opportunities are greater, and then we can affect some voting districts that have been gerrymandered against us. Like the those people who are leaving the island of Puerto Rico that are resettling in America, are they resettling on the on the, the, the main 48 on the continental? Can we figure ways to help them resettle into districts where their votes are going to have greater impact. Mm. That's a great, um, uh, a great observation, and something. Just think about how migration has happened in this country before, right? We think of the great migration of our folks um, moving. Um, my family is part of that. They moved from the south and they moved up here uh, to the east coast, seeking opportunity, um, seek, seeking um, equality. Um, trying to get out of Jim Crow, right? So the the reason why migrations happen is for uh, people looking and seeking for opportunity. That's what exists. Um, recognize also what happens during a migration. You're then disconnected from what you know. Mm -hmm. You're disconnected from your family, right? And it's a big leap to make that trek. Even from, you know, now we think of how close it was from North Carolina to New York or whatever, right? We can do that in like a day. But think about that great migration and that progress. People people went looking for opportunity, found it, and then told people back home so that they, they can move here. So if an entire country is facing an economic crisis where it is unclear where the jobs are, it's unclear where economic stability is, right? There maybe one or two people can go, right, and find it based upon their education, based upon um, their network. Um, but the the way migration patterns happen, it's it's different than say you know the fifties, the sixties, the forties, right? Because you could get a good job without a high school, you know, a college degree or something like that, and you were moving based upon industrialization and things of that nature. It's difficult to determine. Oh, in Kansas, mm -hmm. they're hiring, you know, five million people. Who's hiring five million people these right. days? Right. Right. So the, the, the industries are different. The economy is different. And so to be able to to determine that now from a political discourse, you're ask you're then asking people move for political reasons without a guarantee of an ev economic prosperity. My question would be, I need this. I need this. I need this. My question would be. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in an area, for instance, where unemployment is high, if you're not employed where you are, and let's say, for instance, is New York City, you couldn't find more expensive real estate. Conversely, Sterling Heights, Michigan, where there probably is a job. Probably. And, and it's going to be. And then if be, you're unemployed, where you got money to move, who you going to stay with? 
Where you living? They're, they're, okay, fine. But uh, fine. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm just talk, I'm, so I'm not talking I, I, about I, I hear, listen, I understand that like this is the Mecca, but if you are if you're sending your kids to a school that you don't feel is is winning, if you're sending your kids to a school that you don't feel is doing the best for your children, if you're not employed and you're paying the highest possible real estate price, why why not make a change? Are they better there? Will they do a lot of times, a lot of times you'll there find no that these blackness there. What's I'm certain there, there is. I'm certain there is. But and at the same time, we're not looking at five. Not million in people. Detroit. There's no anti-black. No, 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 <laughs> we're not <laughs> looking at five million no people. Black in Detroit, baby. No, we're I'm not looking kidding. at five million people. We're looking at eighty-five thousand people. We need eighty. Who's hiring eighty-five thousand people? In, in four or five different places, Amazon. we can find that. Yeah. How about that? I mean, every every time you look up, wait a minute. Okay, pause. Because I'm a poor, and I've said it more than enough times on Sunday Civics. And what I want to ask everyone in this room, who's actually sure. worked the line at Amazon? Because I know people who have. So let's not throw that out there. Like it's I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, I know Detroit and a couple other cities in, in the, across the you country are looking to, else. you know, actually bid for the Amazon's business. No one wants to do that. One, if Amazon comes in, what they're going to do is mess up your whole entire housing, your Section 8, your affordable income housing, all that's dead, and you have a whole lot of poor people in the street, and they're going to be in the street homeless. Yeah, but June, they're doing that already with gentrification, yeah, right? But- Okay. Gentrify- but now he's asking people to move towards there. Yes. Listen, 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 okay. listen, uh, listen, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, listen. Are we going to get straightened out? Are you the iron? He's the iron. <laughs> he's see, the iron. See, see, this is where Maynard, you know, on our podcast many times, he comes up with these these themes. And, and in all actuality, it does sound good, but it's totally unrealistic. Because my thing is, who manages that? Who says, okay... This section of people that come from this suburban area in Puerto Rico, hold on, let me finish, that we need you to go over here. Like, who, who manages that? But, but wait, 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 wait. On the reverse of that, here in New York City, yes, we have a humongous homeless problem. Right? Yes, absolutely. Now, here's one of the situations that's with it. If you're homeless and you've been homeless and in the system X amount of time and have been unable to find a place to live, what they will do is give you a voucher. To go to Newark. Yes. Now, here's my question with that. If you had in this area a base of X amount of people that would bring in X amount of votes for this type of candidate, and half of those people because of gentrification and a bunch of subtle other things that we could go on day for day with that I actually live with happen, and now you're out in the street, now the best thing that you have is not to come back into your community, not even to be in an adjacent community, to go across the river. So you, your time, your treasure, all of that is going across the river as well as that vote. So what does that do for your ger- gerrymandering? If you what yeah. I would say is this. I'm sorry, a- Mayor, a- I love that's you. okay. I love you back. I love you right back. What I would say is just we just <laughs> need to think just different for a moment. Who right. needs, How who is we? different though? It's I'm, not you. No, oh wait, so wait, when are you let me let me clarify. Oh let me clarify. You are not a poor. Right. Let me I, clarify this for you because th- this hold is on another thing. Like, no, sure. no, 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 no. Hold on. This is another thing. You're saying we in the sense are you moving? Are he you making that nowhere. decision? Or are you he talking about the people today. who are facing that economic anywhere. anxiety? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Hold on. L Joy. Yeah. Eldra, I want you to say that again. It's a flag because on play. Maynard has a very beautiful home, beautiful family, nice, nice picket I don't, fence. I don't, I don't, oh, no, 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 right, right. So is Maynard moving? You know, is, is he leading that charge? That's what I mean about this whole management thing of talking about a pie in the sky. Hold on, Maynard. I, I, I know you busting at the seams. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I'm you, still a mic in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, 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 you're trying to do this Allen Iverson thing. You're trying to make the highlight reel. Just relax. I'm a shooting guard. I need to shoot. I, I got you. But what I'm saying. But you got to shoot at the right basket. Exactly. Whoa. So Ding. I'm, I'm, I'm Think about this. We have brothers and sisters who are brown yes. who come from other countries yes. to seek the opportunities. And Don't we, do it. Stop right there. And we I'm know. Have to stop you right hold there. Hold on. Don't me, do that. Don't do that. Don't we do that. know if, do that. if they're capable of thinking this way, oh. we should also start to think. But, to but I think that, that they're people hate who are capable of thinking what you way. You hate like, me. Like, yo, I have to leave this place to go to some other opportunity. Okay, so now, I'm not doing. Is the but but other let's, 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 let's like, go back. Like, it, do you have a pamphlet of the other opportunities that exist? 
for these people to go because I'm sure they are they've been looking right so if you have a pamphlet that lists out where the opportunities are where the house is where the apartment is where the 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 good schools and the good job that I can get based upon where I am if you would print out that pamphlet and stand out on the street and hand it out I'm sure it would be receptive so can you do me a favor Eldroy can you give me a long distance high five please <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> because what it sounds like what I said well, well, it's cl- you're, it, you're exhibiting I feel a like pie in the sky. People and come from shitholes to come here. It. Yeah, no, I feel and the like you're why, giving me Trumpism. I'm feeling very Trump. You know, but and the reason why I started out with, 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 because with that. Because they're shitholes and they're coming here. And I must live in a shithole, so because I live in a shithole, I must move. No, sir, no. I can make my shithole better. And I'm talking about making my shithole better. So how do I make it better? If you're trying to get me to move to Michigan, what's there? What's there I'm besides not, lake effect snow? I'm not suggesting that yeah, people in Michigan, who are giving me a hot flash. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not suggesting that people are living in shitholes. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, and where, and the reason why Maynard's not doing it, like I'm, I'm gainfully employed. You don't where live I in am. a shithole. I'm, no, it. I mean, I live in the city. I'm gainfully employed but it's where not I a am, shithole. and that's great. But I, if there was someone, and the, the 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 real example is there are people who are living in Puerto Rico, the island has been decimated through no fault of their own. Yeah, but you're you're oh, you're saying on, wait you're a saying, minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. We uh-huh. already know that many of them are fleeing to Florida. Fleeing is not voluntarily. Okay. Exactly. They're not. You're right. not saying, yeah. oh, you know uh, what? Right. Let me pick but up and move. I want to better my because life because I want to better my life. I ain't life. got no lights. I ain't got no running <laughs> water. You, that doesn't mean. I, don't have listen, a, I'm not I got the E. Coli. People, I'm not asking these people to leave and never come back. But I'm that's what's happening. In this moment, in this moment, there are three million people. Who are living in Puerto Rico, many of which who are, are American living, citizens. Who are and American why are we citizens. not helping them stay You're in right. place? What but is? Let me be. Let me be a little Cohen's help help Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. Election, why are we deforesting and getting the people off the island? What's going on? Let's, let's okay. put them back in line. But Maynard, let me let me stop you there. Uh oh. Teacher time. That's why we got El Joy in here. There we go, Maynard. Slow down. The premise. The premise of your argument is that we need people to move in order to win an election. Right. Or to have and a better that's, life. It, that's a false like you're asking people to do so, like to do something and change their livelihood, change their life and change disconnect from their family and for their communities solely for you to win election because you don't know, like who's occupying the White House right now or who don't like who's occupying Congress right now. That is classist. Mm-hmm. Um, it Elitist? is a, a, a wrong. A yes. Oh, brother. Yes. <laughs> your your response to people is you're basically telling people to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and I don't like, have no boots. I like this. I, yes, 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 you are. Yes, you are. I'm not saying that. Yes, oh my you God, are. I you love are you, but yes, people, you are. If you don't that? like your circumstances, yes. move. It's the same thing as telling people if you don't like this country, go back to where you came from. No. And I can't go back to where I came from because I can't trace it back beyond slavery there, Skip I'm not Gates. I'm saying that. No. All I'm saying is this. Now. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Put your hand out. Now. <laughs> Now, there is a conversation that we need. There is a conversation. I'm she's talking. trying to, she hurting me up in here. I, and my, what's, my homies what's, what's, ain't even riding with me. Did y'all invite me to talk they on here? Or? Yes, I okay. did. How yes, can you so there, there is a conversation in terms of what government and what greater society owes to people. When we're talking about, um, so during the election, and we're talking about the conversation of industries that have died down or are slashing jobs. We're talking about coal. We're talking about manufacturing and things like that that and whole towns who have been devastated because of the changing economy like that. So there is something that government and a greater society owes in terms of determining you ha- the destabilization that occurs when you have entire industries collapsing or aging out. And then if you have these whole communities where everybody there worked for coal in some sort, whether they were in the mines or in an adjacent um, industry, that destabilization that happens, there is a both public and private partnership that has to happen in order to identify or retrain communities or people in new industries uh, because it destabilizes our economy in general. Mm-hmm. 
So the conversation of people being trained in new jobs or um, moving to different towns or um, identifying new industries to replace those dying industries in some in some places, that's where your 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 conversation or I guess your attempt <laughs> of a, of a <laughs> fight comes uh, comes in. In that, yes, um, if you're in certain towns where, you know, coal was the thing and, like, everybody worked there and now the entire town is unemployed or on um, or struggling for uh, work, that's where public and private partnership comes in, where government needs to come in and identify what other industries can we attract here to replace that because it destabilizes the economy in general, mm -hmm. right? But this massive migration that you're, um, that based upon your philosophy Forced is based migration. upon winning an election, which I've said before, that it cannot be our sole goal over and over again. When, just what we need to do to win, elec win elections is problematic. So, Eldre, let me ask you this question. Let me, and this is what we call a pivot. Sometimes, are you Pandora, Spotify, or Title? I, I pay for Title. Okay. I use Spotify. Okay. For um, because some of the places that um, I get playlists and stuff from, they use okay. uh, Spotify or whatever. But I pay for Title. Gotcha. Now, here's why I asked that because. As as we all follow you on this podcast, and even as we're listening to you, you know, talk Which, about. By the way, uh -huh. I I, I want to say that I appreciate very dearly that you guys actually listen to the show and actually oh, yes. follow me because absolutely, as Amen. June can attest, I get into my own mind absolutely and believe that no one is listening. No, and yeah. I'm putting all of this work and you know um, yep, energy and now. everything. No one's, and I'm like, <laughs> no one's listening. Oh, Has really? anyone ever liked an episode mm -hmm. or responded or anything? So. Um, since I've said that, literally tweets and emails and yep. everything of people saying that they actually listen to the show and pe random people in the street. Okay. So <laughs> I, I just want to say I do really appreciate that you guys listen. Oh yeah, no, because because no, I'm, no, hold on, man, hold on, hold on. We, we want you to we want you to breathe for a minute. Is because one day I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting at home, El Joy having dinner, and we watch New York One a lot, and I see El Joy Williams on New York One. I said, OMG, and and my wife said. That's the lady that was on your podcast. I said, it sure is. So, no, no, they're, they're definitely looking. But here's my other question, is that on your title playlist, like, give me, like, three of your current favorites because I, I heard you say something earlier. Like, there has to be a way that you have to be able to decompress. You know what I mean? Because this is a lot. I mean, again, yeah. we can say what we want to say about Donald, but some of the stuff – it's tough. A lot of even the local issues are tough. We can yeah. talk about homelessness is tough. Trash on the streets in New York is tough. What do you listen to to kind of just say, this just helps me chill? Yeah, so um, I have I do have difficulty with that. And now that I'm in the process of us trying to start our family, like one of the things that the doctors are telling me is that I have to find ways to manage stress. Exactly. Um, because that, you know, will have, you know, long lasting effects, uh, effects, mm -hmm. particularly during a pregnancy or anything like that. And right. so I'm trying to, you know, exhibit more of that. So going back to my first love of reading okay. is, you know, one of the first things um, that I'm doing in terms of my title playlist. I don't know if you guys follow her, but I follow this um, woman on Twitter, Naima. Naima is fabulous. Okay. Sunday so Naima sermon. does what's called Sunday Sermons. Okay. And she does a breakdown of a different genre or a different artist or different things um, every, you know, on Sundays. Nice. Right? So if you, you know, use Twitter, go to Naima's, like, Twitter feed, and she has, yes. like, all these sermons. Okay. And so Amazing. afterwards, she makes these playlists. Okay. Um, and so I listen to a lot of um, those playlists, like um, your parents' party playlist. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, like, when your parents used to have, like, a house party or something like that down mm -hmm. in the basement or whatever, and mm -hmm. with... Um, the uh, one of my other favorites is uh, begging ass R and B. No, no, we need no. We talk about that a lot. Right, right, you know, right. the love and the so, begging is so, gone. And, and particularly with R and B, because I'm an R and B. Um, I'm also a church kid, so I listen to uh, gospel, okay, um, and things like that. But there are very few like traditional R&B artists right now. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Every If you think about your R&B playlist right now, it's mm -hmm. all old people in all old songs. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on now. What you mean? What's old now? 
Hold on now. Okay, so <laughs> obviously Luther ain't making no new music. No, you're right on that. There's a mixtape out there that we just ain't got. Okay. No, no, ain't no Luther but, mixtape. No, so no, no. So you're listening to, like, like, so when you're listening, you want to, like, I have a playlist called uh, Real R&B. Okay. Okay, Luther's on there, Gerald Levert. Right. Shaka Khan. Like, they don't they don't make real don't good make music good like that. And so besides, like, Lettucey, Layla Hathaway just um okay. has a new album out and things like that. But R&B is, like... We don't even have the, of the Jills and the, and the, some of the, the dopeness that Erica used to give us and some of that stuff. Yeah, Erica. Uh-oh, um, uh-oh, wait, wait now. <laughs> but no, I mean, Erica, I like Erica to play, like but Erica. she's also not traditional R&B. R&B. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. So, so I like listening to music. I like dancing, um, you know, in the house okay. and, you know, just zoning out in, in that um, aspect and being a nerd. So, um you know, this weekend I went to Brooklyn Museum. Okay. Um, didn't bring no business cards. Didn't bring like nothing. What I'm just like going to the museum. I went with uh, a girlfriend of mine who we call each other our hot art dates. Okay. Um, you know, we just go out and you know enjoy that kind of way. So I do kind of things like that to kind of disconnect. Now, Good. My, I, I don't know enough. I'm okay. Just up front, let I'm, you know. Let's go. But you know, we brought El Joy on. The first time we had her on, and we were just blown away. Absolutely. Amazing. And today, tonight, amazing. Okay. I hosted her, if you can call it that, because I've sucked at hosting, and I apologize. Oh, stop it. I hosted her, and she came to my university, and she did she did something for my university. I'm still waiting for that video. <laughs> I'm, I'm chasing it down. She did something for my university um, that was amazing. Was it a hot 16? Yeah, she dropped the hot six. Whoa. On That's fake people. news at the most important time right. ever, so that entire group knows exactly how to navigate. Uh oh. But the fake news is happening a little bit right now, and I hate to have to call her out. But we Excuse went to me? dinner. Wait, what happened? We went to dinner. Uh oh. I hate afterwards. to have to stab you. Watch your words. And, and because the playlist included, <laughs> has to include, the one thing that she said at dinner was if I see you in the street and I don't speak, that means I don't with you. Party. She <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hello. She mentioned. Party. She mentioned everything uh, else. She did, and what she said, she recited every lyric from Bodak Yellow right there. I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem. I, I don't well, see the problem. Well, no, no, the issue. <laughs> no, no, but made it. But made it. No, no, but made it. Wait, wait. Let, let me say this. Let me. And here's why I asked her. Bodak because Yellow. Because he lover. asked me what I listen to to relax. Exactly. I don't listen to hip hop to relax. Right. I listen to hip hop to bolster my ego. Yes. And get geared up to go out there and slay yeah. the dragon okay. and take yeah. on the so world, when listen, son. when I'm listening to, son. that's why I always say that I like my rap, I like my hip hop with tons of vibrato, uh. vibrato like extra aggressive, uh, 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 right. like that I'm a steal your man, but matter of fact, I don't want I'm him, so whatever, because right. he a bum ass nigga. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> right? I get all the checks, all the money, pass me the bag. Right. Like, we, like that. that's, that's what, it. that's, so I don't listen to hip hop to that's relax. All. Hip hop is to amp you up. Cash mm -hmm. rules everything exactly. around me. Hip hop get is the to money. amp you up, dollar, dollar to boost your bill, ego, to say yes, I'm about to go and wreck this presentation so I can get this contract. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm Boom. bad. I'm the baddest bitch out here. Like Boom. that's what it's for. So it's so, not for relaxing. That's what I needed to hear. But I, and I got you, Mada. But you but but here's what's very important, L Joy. This is very serious and sincere on why I asked you that. We received a letter from a, a listener who basically reached out to us to tell us how our podcast helped him. He was having some some issues, you know, at home and, you know, some and, and Maynard he, he reached out to Maynard directly and Maynard Aww. reached out to, he reached out well, to, to us up, and then you reached back home. out to him and he made me feel like a star. Yeah. So when I called him he was like, I know this voice. Yeah. But 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 Aww. but 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 here the reason why I said that is because there are people that are listening to this, and they do need help. They need somebody to say, while we deal with this everyday life thing, like, what is it that you do to get through that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there are some people who are on, you know, Donald Trump overload. They're on so, and they yeah. need ways and under and and, and and instruction on how to deal with that. Yeah. So there are we have a large group of females that also listen to us. So I know. Wait, fix that. Oh, geez, OP. I am so. Uh -oh. Females are wait, wait, goats, wait, wait, wait. horses, Maynard, and dogs. Maynard, 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 right. help me because I used that word and Women. I was told that that was the wrong Come word on, and I didn't get the memo. You, I you didn't. You've been pushing me in front of this bus all this time. <laughs> <laughs> 
just to kind of get something That's going. right, Maynard. Resist, up, brother. Yeah. What, my dude? Resist? I'm sorry. I, I'm playing down underneath the basket. If you can pass the ball to me, I'll catch it. I got you. But, but, you, you but, trap, right? but now watch this. Now let's address that or attack that just for a moment. And, and I'm being very sincere because I feel like sometimes – if you don't know, you, you can't be penalized for something. When did that change? And and what is the thought behind it of that word? Because when I was a little kid, right, some 30, 40 years ago, and there was a young lady, child or whatever, we called her a female, it was I was a male and she was a female. When did it turn into being something bad? So, you know, the, the interesting thing about that is that um, <laughs> culture shifts. Okay. Okay. Um, and just because something uh, people are speaking about it now doesn't mean that it wasn't a problem then. Was it? But was it really? It yes, was, it was. So one for me, I'm 39 years old. Okay. It has always been a problem for me. Really? I've tw- I'm 10 years older than her, and I've had a blind governor rub my boobs and a cue bite my crotch, Uh-oh. and Whoa. none of it Uh-oh. was invited. Uh-oh. Oh wow! So, so for so in terms of using the the the, the terminology female, right? So it has always been an issue. Is just um, when it becomes okay, or when it to finally say something, you know, about it, right? So I would, if we knew each other. I would correct people. Just like I did to you, I was just like, oh, fix that real, you know, like yeah, real right, quick. Right. Not, oh, no, you're not about to call, right, you know, whatever. <laughs> Dif- Ooh, do that like, again. Different, right. d- d- I love that. Do that again, <laughs> please. I love it. <laughs> different thing going to my first name now. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so if we knew each other, right, and my cousins can tell you, um, my uh, majority of my cousins are preachers, ministers, pastors, okay. you know, things like that. Um, and I, we would challenge them all the time. Like I would challenge them all the time. And so one of my younger cousins, um, uh, who's a hotep, like can tell you all the time since he could like talk or whatever. And, you know, he would say female, whatever. Don't say that. Like it's something I've always said, but I would have to know you to say it. But if we were out in the street, I didn't know you. I didn't know how you would react. I didn't know if you were, you know, going to be on some, you know, other high thing or whatever. You know, I wouldn't say anything, but I would still feel it, right? Because it just doesn't, it doesn't set right. It doesn't, it, it doesn't feel right. Because usually when you're using that phrase, okay, it's one, a generalization. So you're lumping me along with everyone, you know, whatever. Okay. And then two, it's usually not in a positive light. It's usually these females don't know how to act. These females can't appreciate. No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. And I say, and 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 respectfully, I I would have to disagree because, and it may be again me being forty seven, is different. Uh, saying that that is a very beautiful female, is very commonplace. Right. So you know what my mean? father would say that. Doesn't that doesn't mean that it would, felt good. Like, and my dad, before he, my dad was 59. Okay. But I would say to my dad, I'm like, Dad, just say woman. <laughs> like, or uh, whatever. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? So, but, 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 and, but can, can we send it, can we send memos out on this, though? Because, no, because I don't know when to change. The email, though. No, you it's got to open the memo. And it's lo- so let me ask you something. Okay. If someone to say, say something to you, you've been saying this word. You've been calling him a muggle all his life because everybody told you that's what he is. He's a muggle. He's a whatever. Right? But now as the community has grown, as culture has shifted and changed and things like that. Okay. And he says to you, this is your friend now. And he says to you, actually, that's actually derogatory. We don't really like that. Like, can, you know, like, just say, you know, say this instead. Exactly. Why wouldn't you? Because be, that's your friend. And, and, and that's no, your. And, and I'll say, I agree with that. But the problem is. Uh, 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 uh. And there's where the problem is. No, no, actually, there is no problem. No, you actually, there is go, a problem. I respect you as no, my friend, no, no, and I'm not going to call you a muggle well, here's, anymore. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. And, but, and, and, let, and let me have my space. Make me feel good and I, let me rub my nipples. I, I got you. Let me but, call you a nipple. Right. Let me, let me call you a muggle. No, 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 no. But let me have my space. What? No, no. All right. <laughs> no, no. I'm hangry. No, no. no, no. What I said was <laughs> the problem with me is that I have not had a lot of frequency of being like you just said. Now I hate to say it. I'm going to remember this for a very long time because before it was not forever, but a long time because before there were always younger people explaining to me, yo, OG, that's not what they say anymore. Oh, really? But I also remember the time of going to the public library to do my homework. 
I remember having an encyclopedia in my home where there are kids today that have no idea of what a rotary phone is. You know I what I mean? I have one. I had Britannica, and every year they came and bought me the addendum, you know, because yeah, you get Yeah, but no disrespect, but your DOB is a little bit different than some Whoa, of the younger I, people. I got, you about, I got you about two years. I got you, know what I'm just saying? Is that there's some people, when these things change, some of the old school people, we don't get the memo. Us old folks, in other yes. words, we're cranky. <laughs> we don't want to so, get on board at then, first. You got to drag us kicking and screaming. But then you adapt, and you change. A- absolutely. Because culture and language changes. Right. One of the things that, that bothers me uh, about even culture and language changes um, you know how we say the thing that ain't a word, right? So somebody say ain't. You remember your parents correcting mm-hmm. you if of you course. said ain't or sort of things like that. Right. When <laughs> in actuality, those things are words because words are what we say they are and define them. Exactly. Right? So it's the difference in terms of whether they're proper words or, right. you know, sort of it, it, things of that nature, mm-hmm. right? You understood what I said. But, you, mm-hmm. <laughs> but there are words. You know, and but they A-A-V-E are words because we've is attached meanings to them and, and things like that. My only, um, and I don't police what other, you know, feminists or women or, you know, others say or how they um, exert or uh, I should say how they teach or how they correct other people. My entire life I try to lead by example, right? I don't try to be like um, you ought to do it how I do it. You ought to teach how I, you know, how to. I, my entire life, whether it's my faith walk, whether it's the work I do politically or anything like that, I lead by example, and including that example of when I fail, right? So I try, my personal philosophy is to correct you in love, right? To say, oh, fix that, right? Oh, and then even if you would push back on me and say, fix what? As if you didn't know, I would say, don't say female. It's actually, you know, I would tell you how I felt about it. Wait, we can't say female anymore? (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm sorry I, 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 I went to go order the food I'm sorry I tell you how I felt about it And to me the response That you give based upon How I tell you I feel Determines how far Or how further I would go Absolutely. You know? Okay so can I get back to Let me let me just bring it back around to the seriousness Because I'm the serious guy in the room <laughs> He done went and ordered the pizza I know I know I'm sorry but I gotta get back to the serious I know no let me just keep, let me just kind of just Pivot back to you know the seriousness So can you break down I, I, I saw where You know I guess the governor of Maine Is trying to institute you know voter ID laws Can you break down Voter ID laws and how that affects people's voting and their rights and how it affects, I guess, especially Mm African-Americans. So voter ID laws, for those who don't understand, voter ID laws are um, laws you put on the books that says that you have to have identification in order to prove who you are in order for you to cast your ballot. Mm Mm-hmm general you know general idea and the premise behind them is that there are massive amount of fraud or there is the potential for massive fraud and because of that we need to have we need to know who people are who are voting Mm -hmm. Um, the problem becomes when you get into the minutia of the legislation and in some that's today's word (laughs) minutia and in a majority of states that actually the the governors or legislatures who are a lot of them um uh conservative Mm -hmm. right and this this idea of id laws have come out of um conservative think tanks and and things like that is that um to restrict what type of identification or determine the specific kinds of identification that you can show in order to prove your identity. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem comes in. Right. So when we first started after the 2000 election, um, uh, that was uh, the Bush-Gore election, Mm -hmm. right? There there was legislation passed um, to people to register for the first time you know, had to show some type of ID. And it was a, a, a long variety of different types, right? So your driver's license, right. your school ID, a, um, a light bill, you know, a bank statement, a utility bill, all these different types of ranges of identification that you could possibly have. Mm-hmm. 
what's happening now with these laws is they s- significantly narrow what type of ID that you can show. Right. So if you say that you have to have a state ID or a license or a gun license um, or things like that, um, think about the things that are required for you to get that. Mm-hmm. Right. In some states, like in and you, I can now use the example of my grandmother. I care for my 92 year old grandmother. I manage her affairs and everything. And now um, it's actually a show we have coming up on um, Sunday Civics about the Real ID Act that was passed after September 11th. Mm-hmm. You are going to have to have identification that is compatible with the Real ID Act in order to fly. Mm hmm. Right. So in order to get a license or anything, what do you need? You have to c- come up with this collection of points. You need your birth certificate, a social security card. You need something with your address on it, like a bill or something. You know, all of these things in order to get to that. Well, in some instances, depending on what town or how old you are, particularly if you're a senior. So my 92 year old grandmother, we went with her birth certificate, her social security award letter and her bank statement. They were like, yeah, you need more stuff. They were like, does she have a pay stub? Why like, doesn't the my Social Security grandmother count? is ninety two? Where does she work? So did they, did they, they refuse to let her vote. Wait, wait, I'm just, this is talking about getting the ID okay. in order to vote. Okay, so we, so people are taught. So people are trying to understand, and this is a real concern. They're like, well, why don't you have ID? Okay. Right, and there are many different reasons why a person could not have ID, Absolutely. or specifically not have that specific ID that is being written into the legislation for people to have. So you may have a college ID. You may have your high, you know, high school ID if you're still 18 and in school or something like that. Right, all of those may not be usable to be able to prove who you are. Mm-hmm. And if you have to get a state ID at, say, the dry, the uh, DMV, you have to have these collections of I- a collection of items. And mm-hmm. so back to the example of my grandmother, right? So then they were like, well, we need something to show why her last name is now her last name when she got married in, like, the 50s, <laughs> like, whatever, in a small town that actually has now been incorporated into a larger county, and you want me to go, <laughs> like, and find it. She's 92. Right. 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 Here she is in she front of you. She just wants to go vote. Right. Like, <laughs> That's all. <laughs> like, so, whatever. So, so, so doesn't so, this so like the, how many bubbles are in a bar of soap? Is that where we're going? Yes. It feels and like so that? the thing is, is that if, the, so the, I wouldn't have, and even other people, good government um, folks, challenged me on this. For me, If the desire was, we just need to prove who you are, like, you know, this burden of proof, right? So we're going to have all different types of ID that a person may have. So maybe you don't have a state ID. Maybe you don't have a driver's license because maybe you also have been barred from getting that for a while, Mm -hmm. right? Um, Your school ID, um, maybe uh, your Social Security award Mm -hmm. letter, maybe, you know, all of these different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But what happens is these laws narrow and restrict and say only a state ID or Mm -hmm. a gun license Mm -hmm. or... Um, you know, uh, if you bring a bank statement, it also has to have these different things. Right. And then they also do the legislation and say, oh, it has to, it's, it's going to take effect um, the next election cycle, which is actually the next year. Right. And mm-hmm. then not put any money into informing people, you know, that they need to have this. And then think about when you do get a license, when you do get a state ID, is it free? Mm-mm. And then maybe you qualify for a waiver, but you don't know how that process goes because, again, they haven't put money into educating. advertising and right. educating mm-hmm. people on right. how they can qualify for that waiver. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Because is, you know, people who are on public assistance is my public assistance card, which is now has a picture um, and a signature Most on it. Does not. that qualify? Right. Nope. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on the state yep. because each election, you know, is done by the state. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what happens is if you have each of these states determining what they define as identification, then narrowing what the identification is, some of which can cost, and then also not putting any effort into actually educating the public in terms of what they need in order to vote, it then becomes a barrier in voting. Right. And that's one of the reasons why we don't get the people out to vote the way that we should. Well, um, there are all kinds of things. I mean, we make it uh, really hard for people to vote in this yes, country. But when we say we, you say we don't say that again, Spud? Wait a minute. I mean, that's Why the reason we don't come out to vote. What is who is we? I mean, you know what who is the we? we is. No, I just want you no. to clarify who is we. Black folks. Okay. I no, I would say in in general, 
we the people turning out to vote there's an app there's a, is a, a problem with people feeling apathetic it's, it's a collective now there are certain populations that vote more than mm-hmm. others black women being one of them mm-hmm. and some you know it's this new um attack that's happening towards black women now like it particularly in terms of me is that by my consistently referencing that black women vote in higher numbers is actually part of the conspiracy to separate the black woman from the black man. And I need the whole tip to put a <laughs> pin in that <laughs> and to stop that like, right away facts. because that is not what it what is. Want History books prove, <laughs> your, your all these other things your, prove, stop it. Your t-shirt wa- said what? Black women vote. And, and then I think black the women lead. Or something along black the women line. vote, black women yeah. lead, right? Right, right. Um, and black at, women are getting things done. Let's just be real. Yeah, but, Who but did even not in that conversation, that even talking about black women's um, great, but that's on trend with what happens. If you, um, if your uh, education uh, um, level increases, you're more likely to vote. If your income increases, you're more likely to vote. If you own a business, you're more likely to All of those things. And so think about the rates of black women, how we're increasing. We're the, f- number, the, one. the number one group in terms of creating businesses in this number country. One. We're, um, graduating with more you know higher advanced degrees we're owning homes so as those things increase number one that means that you're also going to be more likely to vote right so as those things but keep in mind that for every one black woman that is registered and active and votes there are three black women who aren't so we're not saying every you know 100 percent of black women vote we're saying proportionally you know that we right. vote more than any of our, uh, you know, over indexing. But as those things increase, as your economy gets better, as you own a home, as you pay more taxes, as you um, start a business, all and when all of those things come go up, you're also more likely to vote. Mm-hmm. El Joy Williams and June Moses, we want to thank you both. But we have before we let you go, we before got two quick questions, go. and, and we got to get. Ba-da-ba-da. 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 No, we're not top five because we already know that she ain't going to tell us that in her top five is. is uh, you know, Larie is on. Why not? Her we way. always have. We needed a top five, top five, man. Come on, Larie right, is on. A top her five way. of what? Come on, hip hop. Hold on. Hip hop. Let's, let's start with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do, you have, do you have? Do you have? Do you have anything to add? Your top five MCs of all time. <laughs> hey. Come on. You're asking the wrong one because I was born during the, and, and experienced the golden age. So I am going to start with Public Enemy Thank because you. my 98 Oldsmobile goes Come what? Come on. At 16, I had one. Uh oh. It was all about a 98 Oldsmobile. It was all about Public Eight, Public Enemy. Right. Yes, the rhythm, the rhythm, the, the rebel. Mm hmm. Right. Without a pause, you're lowering my level. All right. That's so fine. there's number one. Number two is who else? Cash rules everything around me. Everything about the woo plus the sons of man because those were my boys. I used to fry them chicken back in the day. Okay. So yes. Everybody needs somebody helping with some fried chicken. Wait, you used to fry them chicken? Yes, the sons of man. I used to fry them chicken and we used to play spades. And that and sons of man was like you know the offset group to um, the woo. woo. So yes. All right. So all right. So is that three? Are you counting? No, no, no. There are only two. Two. Okay. Three is who else but the queen of hip hop soul. Mary J. Blige, who met me back in the day. I am the evil, like, cashier from the child world. So that's how she knows me. And that's okay. And, okay. And, she's, and I met her several times throughout life. She is the queen of hip-hop soul. She All is right. the queen of an entire genre. She sings. She raps. She's everything. She is my, and I'm going to fight Ken Do for her. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. No violence. No violence. No oh, violence. Sorry. If something has a can do with yeah. you, would you like to ask Lamont his relationship with Mary? <laughs> <laughs> Let's Don't leave that alone. Don't have to fight him. <laughs> no, she's family. No, we love I Mary. I love Mary. Yeah, what? no doubt. No doubt. Right. You got two more slots. And I got two more slots. I am going to have to say, I left my wallet in El Try. Segundo. Okay. Left my wallet in El Segundo. And, ooh, Andre the 3000. Uh. Really? Only you because, said really? Yeah. The only reason, El, El Joy the said, only really? reason why I'm going to go with them <laughs> is because... Are you going with out? Five? Yeah, are you going with outcast or are you going with you going with three stacks? I'm going to go with full-on outcast. And here's the reason why. Let's do it. Five is not in my book actually five. Wow. It's ten. Wow. 
and there are many others that come before that five. That, that's, so understand that's a, that's a that. <laughs> listen, <laughs> poor people were. Yes. <laughs> don't don't do that. That's don't all right. That. Don't okay. do that. I also learned to forge. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. I will build a weapon and fight you like oh Brianna Tarth. No, we need love. You so, don't know. You better yeah. ask Eljoy some questions, know. and okay. I'm going to sit over here and drink my Moscata. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so, Eljoy, what, what's your top five? Come on now. So, top three are Rakim, Nas, and Black Thought. Oh, I'll take that. Okay, I'll take that. that. Yep. Very okay. respectable. I do have a controversial one. Let's go. I do have Eminem. No, I have Eminem. Oh, really? I have nah, Eminem. Nah. I do. But everybody looked at me all crazy over like Outkast. <laughs> so my wait, I'm sorry. Wait, he wants one, to though. rape his mother and kill his wife. Wait, whoa, what? whoa. No, because so for me, it's about flow, delivery, and and like your right, you know, like it, okay, I can't take that okay. from him. Dope. Yeah, but he yeah. crazy. So Rakim, Nas, Eminem, and then. Black Thought. Well, Black Thought is before Eminem. Okay. okay. And then my controversial one is LL. That's not controversial. Watch oh. this. LL is that, that, not, not only that's LL a good one, dope. that's going to be another daddy. reason why my wife loves you. Yeah. Because and it's not because of the lips and like all of no, that. No, it's like no. LL was hot. Like no, Yes, that. he was. He no, was that. hot. But I don't mention LL because I feel like his wife would fight me. So I had to take him No, she's mad cool. No, she's good. She's okay with it. I know that that's cool, but no, no, no. My desire for LL is in a different place and it's slightly disrespectful. Okay. So I'll go with ask Outcast before LL. Cuz LL is my dad. Okay. He I'll is my that. everything. I got you. Uh, all right, okay, so. wait. Who wait what no. I need to know with My top 5? Yeah. Oh, Let's you, go. Mine is real qu- quick and easy. You got to go with Big. Yeah, okay. all you right. You cannot okay. have this conference right. without right. BIG. Okay. No Big? Brooklyn? What are you talking And I'm from Detroit, be very clear. And Marshall's not in my top 5 at all. I got to go with Big. And Big really is not, he shouldn't be one. Number one really is KRS one. Okay. Okay. Then, and, then, right. and then I'm going to put okay. Biggie in there. Okay. Right? Then and I'm going to put Nas in there. Miss Melody in that mix. Right. No, then I'm putting Nas in there. I'm judging you that you're doing Nas like behind Biggie, though. That's big. Listen, I'm a big dude. No, I can agree with that. I used to wear Kooji sweaters. I still have gaiters. I'm from Detroit. If you know anything about Biggie, Yes, he's from Brooklyn, but he had this love for the detail. You know what I'm saying? He he knew about Hot Sam's. He knew where to get them big block gators for Mr. B's. You know what I'm saying? And he he liked going to Lou's Deli on Six Mile. That's some, you know, he he loved Detroit, and Detroit right, loved him. All right. Yeah, yeah, I get real excited about Big. Okay. Um, I said Chris, Big, Nas. You got to put Jay in there. Okay. Jay's in my 10. You got to put Jay right. in there. Jay's in my Can 10. Can agree. Can yeah. agree. If we're going to do 10. No. So if we're going to do 10, yes. No. Jay Stop. is in the Stop. 10. Jay is in the 10, not in the 5. Stop. Stop. I've been moving Jay down. Stop. No. And then you got to put. Jay's in my 10, not in my 5. No, G. No. Jay-Z cannot be in anybody's top Jay-Z five. Jay-Z over Biggie to me. De- what? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Jay- Yo, my, what? I got to go with Big over, J- over Jay-Z. Say Jay over Big. I'm going Jay-Z over Jay-Z is the best. But Jay Z can period. actually do more. But that's rude. But so you all are counting that. on things outside of those records, uh, of his body of work that's what we called on wax. You all are putting Jay Z in this big space, which he should be in. No, I'm talking strictly about his rhyme, his flow. He does have rhyme. <laughs> like he does have flow. Like, that's Not over big. About. Not over big. Not over big. Stop. Not over big. Cut this podcast <laughs> off. Cut this off. <laughs> It's a wrap. Thank, 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 listen, wait, listen. Wait, 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 I'm Joy, sorry. What? Have you been Mayden drinking? said that LL Cool J's radio was better than Reasonable Doubt. No, I said, L, I said Okay, L, now. Hold on. No, stay with me. What I was saying was, prior to that, hip-hop had been about, moreover, the DJ and the music and, and the B-boy, and LL Cool J was the first person to, like, it was no longer dual rhymer hip-hop. You know, it was, not, it was no longer all these multiple... LL Cool J built the single microphone MC that was dominant. I remember over the music. asking you, is LL Cool J? It's more important at the, It's more important to hip hop in 1985, 86. Yeah, but that's 85, 86. I'm gonna be that roundaway girl that's gonna you stay in Harlem and not move to Michigan for jobs. How about that one? Okay, so listening to his argument in terms of it, its importance in hip hop, that makes sense. If you're just doing the blanket, like the album was better, then no. I don't know. 
Maynard, 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 listen, Maynard, listen, you're actually right. But listen, Wait, don't no, listen. Lamar, look, no. Not even no, no, he's not right. Even no, drinking. he's no man. Actually, is right. Be very clear. This, and I say this all the time. At that time of reasonable doubt, I, that did not draw me in as a super fan for Jay Z. Well, to me, have the machine behind him. exactly. Was it a good project? Absolutely. Radio at that time, and be very clear. And I told this story before. I had to ask my mother for seven dollars because that was the first album that I ever bought in my whole life was L O Cool J Radio, top to bottom, solid beginning to end. That is a solid hip hop album. So if I had to choose between the two, he's right. Bane is right. I don't know because I was I raised think- on <laughs> being able to His take Cool J Red Alert and all types of, of hip hop. I don't know what you're saying. No, he's right. I don't know what he's you're right. Saying. He's right. Wait, wait. wait. I'll, 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 <laughs> oh, cool joy. What, what? I, I said I agree in your context of the the way the album position like it the yes. hip hop. Yes, I agree with I agree with that statement in terms of whether the standalone album itself, like putting the album, you know, you know, up against, mm-hmm. you know, which I think is your argument. No, but in terms of what it meant in hip hop. I would agree. I would agree with yeah. that. And what, what she also said earlier, and then, then I'm going to back oh up Lord. off of this. Oh, Lord. Is that different generations have different emotional connections yes. to, to, to the artist. And again, true. I'm down with Jay. I say this to Jay-Z all the time. If he ever hears anything that I ever say, he was the reason that I made one of the biggest financial mistakes in my life. Did you get a rush card? <laughs> you got a rush card? No, that wasn't Jay. <laughs> that was Russell. <laughs> No, but can, 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 can we talk about my mistake hey. though first? Okay, tell Be, me about because it. he was very he was very no. At the, in the seven today. No, he started stop. the streaming service. No, at one of my favorite songs at the end of it, he said, "What is the difference between a four point oh and a four point six? And my dumb ass went and bought that four point six. And I. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this track list, I can't live without my radio. Oh. Oh my God, we back Absolute to- dopeness. We don't have to. No, no, Maynard, it, it, it Maynard. It wrecked the Maynard. music industry at the time. No, Maynard, you don't have to do that. I can give you more, dear Yvette. I can give you more. It's hot. It's like that. That is hot, bro. No, no, no. I'm sorry. D. Yvette was kind of hot. It was kind of hot when we were busy shoving vodka bottles in the toilet. Okay, Rock the Bells is dope. I can play Rock the Bells, Bells right now. You'll rock, and I want you. LL Cool J is hard as hell. I can battle anybody. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now I need to hear I yours. I excel. They all fail. What? What do you mean? You don't know what you're talking about. I got one controversy. Oh, okay. Lord. Who? Talk about no one. Don't, don't mess with women in mind, too. I have so. one. Number one, Jay-Z. Jay-Z okay. is the best that ever did it. Period. All right. Uh, you're all right. Is that 212 number? There's no way. No. It's Jesus. Oh, yeah, that might be the pizza man. Uh-oh. It's Jesus or the pizza the man. The pizza man. It's number, what, two? That, that's like a hard edit right there, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's going to be some editing going on with this file. So, Spud is off doing, getting pizza. Lorraine so. should be here within 10 minutes. Here are my, and then you get to do? ask her a uh, question. Well, we, we got, uh, or do we got to get out? We got to make an edit. But So, we have some other guests. We're going to get them in, then we'll get Lorraine in, and we'll ask her some questions, and we'll get her in and out as quickly as possible so we don't keep her forever away from whatever she has to do. And, and, but, uh. And they were a little bit late on us with that. All right, so here are mine. Chris. Of course. Rakim. Chris who? Wait, Karis Chris who? Chris I was Chris who? Chris who? I was going to say, you're putting Chris over Rakim. Who? Chris who? Karis who? Oh, Karis one. How much? Cash, I need to tip my man. Oh, hold on. No, 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 hold on. no, 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 we got it, we got it. All right. I'm sorry about this the This dude is a city in New York. Edits, edits. I got, Yo, I got special homeless people that I give a dollar to <laughs> walking down like the street. This, right? So you can see it on the board. Right, right. <laughs> um, so Chris, Rock M. How much are tipping you? I don't know. What, what, how much it costs? Yo, here's some tip money. I haven't picked my three yet. I haven't picked number three. We not Chris Rock that. M LL's three now. All of a sudden, it doesn't matter. I'm fine with that today because it changes. So let's back up. You say you Stop, got Chris. The mic is mine. Finally, damn. Uh-oh. Damn. The After wine, all that, the wine, crazy. the wine is kicked in. Guard. 
I Let's need move shoot. to Michigan. I can for see a who job. the diva is on this episode. You got the mic taken because you came up with that crazy Lord. move to Michigan for jobs business. Yeah, I got to keep it stirred up. Um, you the Trump of the podcast. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you know I love you, but mm. today. That will definitely be totally. part of the new promo. No. <laughs> you you want to do that again, L. Joy? No, that's a new drop. No, no. <laughs> that, not making the promo. No, that's going to be the You're promo. Me look stupid. Listen, the timer's still going. I mean, that is uh, on. It's on the I, drive. I, I, actually, I've been I've been vamping just so I can get these together. So okay. Chris Rock J L L Cool J Jay Z Nas. I mean, that's still respectable. That's a hard five right there, my dude. That's it's, a hard five. It's, right. it's, it's respectable. Decent. And you know what I noticed? Nobody mentioned Curtis. <laughs> I mean, anyway. as a lyricist, I, look, as a rap icon, Curtis Blower stands head and shoulders oh, I, over many. Absolutely. Over, 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 I thought over you, isn't it 50 Cent named Curtis? Thank you very much. Because, oh, see, that's about, why I'm oh, her assistant, and I'm Blow. just here hanging out with you. Oh. But you right, Curtis Blow did start it. Can I get Him my, with I the rest five? of them. Yeah, can we? Oh, my God, go spud. All right. Jay Z best ever did it. Mm. Pac number two. Stop. Okay. Stop. Who? Stop. Tupac? Yo, dog. We don't do that in here. Tupac. Next. Oh now God. listen. As someone <laughs> who wrote him when he was in prison, like I loved me some Tupac. Tupac. Okay. But I worked around the Tupac corner from where he got but, shot. He's hard. No. No. I did. But no, sir. He's he got to get erased. But no. What? I know we're not gonna I mean, erase I, him. Jay Z. We can't Tupac, erase him. Big. Okay. Chris. Okay. Cube. I'm sorry, security. You <laughs> said Ice Cube, although I love him. Security. Ice Cube is proud. Stop. We, all right, so Ice Cube. Are, are we there yet? We're, we're there. Yes, <laughs> is, 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 it, is it Friday yet? I mean, is it, is, are we there? Listen. I, I do love Ice Cube, Ice Cube? but that's not the wave. As what do you mean? Tell me what you don't understand. Ice Cube? In the 20s. He makes nice movies. In Yo. No, like in the, like, I'm sorry. In the, Elroy, let me get this. Let me get some. Like, in the 20, bro. Ice Cube's not hot like that, man. What? I, I'm very ha- And you know what? I'll be honest he's with you. A, America's a, most wanted. Okay, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. He has individual. He has individual, like, individual great salt. Like, but in terms of in order. But in terms of being able to be in the same category and conference in conversation as like Nas or and KRS one is not in my top five, but he's in my top ten, not in my top five. But to put Cube before nah, dude, you good. Nah, B. And, and, and and you know why I'm mad at Cube, and I know you're gonna rap me, Maynard. Is in my opinion, Ice Cube because of his excellent writing skill change the course of hip hop to be very angry. And here's what I mean when I say that. If you think about it, West Coast took it down. No, 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 no. He was angry. Realistic for some people. No, 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 but angry for others. To, well, to me, because I remember and I always ask this question, when did hip hop become so angry? Hip hop beat up by the police. I, I got no, no, you. No, no, but yeah, wait, that was always happening, but I hear exactly I, what I'm you're saying hip hop. You're very right. Because pre NWA, if you look at the videos, we we were partying, we were Even smiling. People was pissing I, in the in the stand like they just don't care. Yeah, but we, we still, still was we party. was but NWA yeah. changed hip hop to where we were mad. Real mad. To where we energy changed. It, it just and and to me, as I got older or as I'm getting older, I'm really angry at that part, at that stage of hip hop, of what N.W.A. did. Because we could have still had some joy. Yes. We could have, we could have done two sides Uh-oh. of the coin. Hello. Right, right. Don't get me started, but unfortunately we pick a pick. Right so we pick a pick. So, let's do, hold on, let me do this rap then. Oh. So, Eljoy, I love want to thank you both. Eljoy, tell us a little bit more. Tell us how we can get Sunday Civics. You can get Sunday Civics wherever you listen to podcasts, on iTunes, on Stitcher. You can go to our website at sundaycivics.org where you can find the feed to download for yourself. You can watch us on YouTube. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter at Eljoy Williams to find out more. How else can I, can I hear you in my car? You can hear me in your car if you. <laughs> Did, are you a subscriber? Did you subscribe? Uh, if you have Sirius XM in your car, you can also listen to Sunday Civics, uh, 10 a.m. on Sirius XM Urban View Channel 126, 10 a.m. on Sundays. And how soon can we come 
be a part. Was that the pivot? Was that a pivot? Oh, 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 My question oh, is, oh, I, have you listened to oh, the last man, episode really and did you do did your engagement? Uh, did you do your engagement? Did you do your civic engagement? We, we need, gave we, well, three tangible ways to be civically engaged in our last episode. So if you aren't saying how you talked to your cousin in Florida to find a 1.5 million voters, or you haven't talked about how you contacted the LDF, that's the Legal Defense Fund of the NAACP, to talk about how whatever concoction Betsy DeVos came up with is wrong, and you want to talk about education. If you've listened to our last episode, then you have the minimum of three things you can do. Go to the website, get registered to vote. Go to the website, get a T-shirt, because I look really cute in mine. Yeah, I would actually love y'all to, like, do, like, I do a promo shot with you guys with the T-shirts if y'all, like, it. I got sweatshirts, too. Like, y'all should, like, y'all should do that. Get a bag. But then when I, but when I have y'all come back, then I want y'all to give me your top three female MCs. Because I need, as long, uh, He gets excited. Like, right. He gets excited. He wants you to and move to Michigan, and no, he's going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he gets excited. I'm gonna and I'm gonna give Yo, you. Me. I'm gonna give you right now Party a tip. What's I'm gonna tip? give you a tip. What's the tip? If Raw Digger is not your number one, yo, right ooh. here, son. No, I'm telling. Don't leave me hanging, please. Listen, I'm telling you, if Raw Digger, yes. Are you nuts? <laughs> Remy couldn't be you, Remy yo, without no. Raw, but that's chronological. Yes. She's leaving. You, 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 Eljoy you know, is leaving the building. Don't, don't insult and, her. And you used to be a program director. You know. Bring stop. Me some more in here so I <laughs> 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 no, she's right. Roger, Are you serious play, right now? Real over Remy Ma. Yes. <laughs> she's hot because she's hot right now, and she's damn good. But she ain't. I don't know. Bro. I was. Gonna, I was. I give you Lauren Hill. I'll give you even, you know, don't, Queen Latifah. But, 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 yeah, but, 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 but Lord, 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 Lord is not Jill a... Jill Moses. Who? Ma'am. Are they, but, are they dissing me on Rod Digger? Like, I don't... No, I, I feel... Top I, 20. I, I feel like they <laughs> got 20. Remy and Ra and just got it all confused and didn't understand the chronological order in which things happen because without Ra, there would be no Remy. And no disrespect, Remy, because I love you. The please don't shoot me in the gut. Whoa. Listen... And I love me some Remy. I totally. love Nikki. Yes. Right? I I but Rod Digger did have nothing on Rod Digger. No, I even Rod say, Rod I would even go so far no. to say Missy over Whoa. Nicki Minaj. Oh. oh, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Missy, Missy, Missy is, is multi And the reason why I say Missy that is Missy is a diamond. Again, for Missy me, is a again, diamond. Not a diamond again, in the rough. Me, an actual diamond. That just plucked out. You didn't even have to take no dust off to get out of the ground. Bam. So the thing for me with Remy, and I love Remy. I, like, go hard, like, love, love her you, to boo. death. But her, her flow and delivery can sometimes be challenging. And also getting but shot. But Rod Digger let's get, let's, and let's Missy get food. She's and right. Lauren. And, right. and, and wait, I need to actually go back to MC Light because if she didn't do it for all of us, don't make me stab you. Don't make me stab you. Because like being married to Todd One to must have been something extra to just to make sure we mic, remembered her. As much as you possibly can. Check out our friend, our wonderful friends, L. Joy, June Moses, and Sundaycivics.org. Sundaycivics.org.